Hi guys, my name is Curse Chad Longstable, board built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park news update where today we're going to be talking about SeaWorld San Antonio, and this is all about their brand new 2021 edition. Now it's not confirmed that this is going to be happening, however, this is news to suggest the park we're looking into doing this. Uh, for the 2021 season or could be doing this for the 2021 season so we've got some public lion uh, which has been filed um, and basically this suggests to us that two attractions are set to be built for the 2021 season potentially uh, so before we get started please like comment subscribe cut the notification bell see you never miss a youtube video please share with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question that is, of course, for our Q&A uh, to celebrate 2,000 subscribers when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And for now, guys, let's get into another video. So, let's talk about SeaWorld San Antonio then. So, we know something big is coming in 2021. And this is all about a brand new attraction that's set to come into the park. Now, this public lion, as it's pronounced, L-I-E-N, lion, uh, which has been filed uh, publicly seems to suggest what could potentially be coming for the 2021 season now it is not a screaming swing but it is something with a screaming swing it's potentially two attractions uh now for those of you who want to know what type of attractions they are well what we could be looking at here is both a screaming swing by sns and a mac power splash now obviously it's a very weird choice and i'll get on to my reasons for it in a little bit but for those of you who need a little bit of history, let's just share with you uh, something that we, uh, some like all the information that we know about this news. Uh, so, uh, looks like the uh, map power splash for Seawall San Antonio is real, and Screamscape, of course, nailed it months ago, and possibly a swing ride as well. And there was some uh, public lions that said that um, you know this that they were looking into doing this, and of course, the main thing that started this all was a lion filed by SeaWorld San Antonio, and both these were on Twitter, uh, the park considering building a map power splash coaster. Full analysis is going to be on SeaWorld News. Uh, however, this does not confirm anything. The only thing it confirms is that the park were consider was considering adding one. Now, on this uh, public lion uh, that we found on Twitter, uh, it says, Exhibit to a project authorization, scope of services for project, December 19, 2019. So this was you know, first created in December, uh, just gone. Um, owner anticipated developing a map power splash at his SeaWorld Park in San Antonio. In connection with such plans of owner, consultant shall perform the following services. A, high concept design services, reviewing the previous documentation, phone charrette with C, Jeff Hornet, Jonathan Smith, Larry Giles, uh, and Emily Peacock. Uh, number three, working the estimate and any site issues. Number four, developing a ROM estimate and any necessary plan diagrams. And five, phone review at the end of next week. Uh, so that was all found in this December December created lion. Um, B, review meetings. Consultants shall participate in the following review meetings. A kickoff phone call and a phone slash web conference as required. And C, deliverables. Consultants shall properly prepare and provide the following to the owner, and that is your ROM estimate. So, you know, this, obviously that's just for the power splash. Now, there was some other Twitter images, which I'm going to put on your screen now. Found out uh, And this is pursuant to a written contract and between claimant at SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment Inc. and SeaWorld Parks and or SeaWorld San Antonio, owner of the below described property, uh, claimant has furnished architectural and design services including the development of plans uh, for the construction of a Mac power splash on the following described real property and of course the second one says uh, the construction of a 2021 swing ride on the following described real property now on the power splash one uh, it says new city block 17647 block one lot, lot one and it has like a phone number as well for San Antonio Texas um, and different details like that. So for those of you who need a little bit of history, basically, uh, before we talk about the screaming swings, let's talk first about the um, Mac power splashes for those of you who need a little bit of history on this. So 
The map power splash is a recent concept. It's one of the more recent concepts by uh, Mac Wright. Now, obviously, the first one was created. It was opened on the 4th of June 2016 at Wallaby, Belgium. It was Pulsar. Uh, that was pretty much Wallaby, Holland, and Wallaby, Belgium's coaster years because Holland had a Mac Big Dipper uh, and Belgium had a Mac Power Splash. Now, Obviously, three years later than this, in 2019, they opened Power Splash at Happy Valley, uh, which is in Guangdong, China. Now, in 2020, they're set to introduce two uh, map Power Splashes, one called Aquaman, Aquaman Power Wave at Six Flags Over Texas. We've covered that one already on the channel. And, of course, there's another one, uh, which is the 217-meter model, which is the same as, you know, all of them. And that is going to Bollywood Park in Dubai, part of the Dubai Parks and Resorts. And in 2021, uh, already confirmed, Lotte's Magic Forest, uh, which is a brand new park in uh, Busan, South Korea. They've got a map power splash coming to their park, same model as the rest of them, as well as a blue fire clone uh, launch coaster. So that part's getting a power splash as part of the new theme park. And it looks like we've got another one, and this is for, of course, um, you know, SeaWorld San Antonio. And, and of course, like we said, this is the, the first Mac power splash uh, to come to uh, the SeaWorld chain. Now, of course, talking about that other... Uh, ride type, the SNS Screaming Swing. Um, looking at uh, the first of that, um, and looking at the the first, you know, Screaming Swing. You know, we're dating way back uh, to some to some old times. We're dating back to like the the two thousand two thousand five. Um, you know, that was that was the first one um, that was invent. Well, one of the first ones invented uh, for. You know the the part uh, for the for the uh, ride concept, um, and of course that of course in the UK was Rush at Thorpe Park. Uh, in 2006, they introduced Extreme Swing at Valley Fair uh, in the States, Thunder and Lightning at Lake Compounds, and of course Skyhawk at the wonderful Cedar Point. In 2007, uh, they brought in Giant Barn Swing at Silver Dollar City and Up Swinget. Uh, over at Leesburg. In 2010, Giant Canyon Swing was invented into Glenwood Caverns Theme Park. Um, and of course, the latest ones, Barnstormer in 2011 over at Dollywood. And of course, the latest ones, Finnegan, Finnegan's Flyer at the uh, SeaWorld Chains Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Now, this particular 2021 project at San Antonio has a rich history with the channel because, of course, we've been talking about this 2021 project for a while now. And I said on that first video, on those first videos, um, this is set to be a, a screaming swing. This is set to be an SNS screaming swing. Um, and it seems like, it, it looks like, it could be more. Now, of course, the first rumor was a screaming swing. There was other talk about Skyrocket 2, uh, like Electric Eel at SeaWorld San Diego. And of course, that's a very uh, predictable ride to um, you know come up with because of the fact that Electric Eel is in San Diego. And of course, you know that's part of the SeaWorld brand and the SeaWorld chain of theme parks. So obviously, a Premier Skyrocket 2 is not completely out of the question for San Antonio. It might not be 2021, but I definitely could see a Skyrocket 2 come to San Antonio in the future especially with you know even though this pandemic is hitting us hard and obviously you know the construction walls seem to have um i think something's happening all in orlando with their new coaster it looks like something's come down and they started work again uh, and of course they're getting icebreaker ready for when the park is you know ready to open um so whether icebreaker opens this year and then they still get the new 2021 coaster which is rumored to be the world's first surf coaster by bnm uh we don't know yet we, we, the, the, it could be a you know a delay in that uh, so icebreaker opens in 2021 and then orlando opens in 2022 or 2023 uh the surf coaster or the rumored surf coaster but san antonio seems like they're going to get this one on track and it looks like we're going to get this brand new project in 2021 um hopefully orlando doesn't delay icebreaker and they get to open it but and then we get this rumored surf coaster in 2021 but obviously talking um, about these new projects with SeaWorld and Busch Gardens. Uh, you know, this project at San Antonio is definitely going to open in 2021. And, you know, we, like I said, we first thought it was just, it was just going to be a screaming swing. It was going to be one of those flat ride years. Obviously, San Antonio, uh, this year opening Texas Stingray, which was their, uh, wooden coaster, their brand new wooden coaster, uh, to the park this year. So, you know, 
I sort of predicted it was going to be a flat ride, but I'm sure most of you are the same. I never predicted a power splash to come to the park next year. I had no clue. I, I, I really wanted to see a power splash come to the park, but I didn't think it'd be this soon. I'm not going to lie, I didn't think it'd be this soon. Um, so, obviously, a power splash is a very interesting choice, and I say that because, obviously, the park already have a couple of water coasters or water rides. Um, you know, looking at that, um, you know, lineup. Uh, the actual coaster, water coaster, the Super Splash by Matt Wright, uh, Journey to Atlantis, which of course opened at the park in 2007. Obviously, you know, you guys have your own thoughts on that, but I, from the look of it, I think that Journey to Atlantis looks like a great ride. I think that, um, you know, I think it's definitely underrated to some people. I think that the ride uh, is a great attraction for the park. And like I said, it's a great you know, water ride for the park. It's a great water ride. They've got Rio Loco, which is their River Rapids ride that opened in 1993. So they've already got a Rapids and a, a Super Splash water coaster. So, you know, you know, this is a very interesting addition if they're set to get a Power Splash, if they're, if they're going to get Power Splash. Uh, like we said, it's not confirmed either way. They're just confirming the park we're looking at adding it for 2021. So, um, you know... It doesn't confirm whether they're getting it or not, but we can pretty much say with confidence that the park are looking at a power splash. And you know what? I wouldn't be against the idea. Now, of course, like I said, they've already got a super splash. They've got a rapids ride. So they've got a good water ride collection already. But I think this would be like the final piece of the puzzle for the water ride. So they've got, they're going to get a nice new flat ride. It looks like, well, if everything goes according to plan and everything looks like it could be happening for definite... 2021 could be the year that SeaWorld San Antonio gets a brand new thrill ride and also a water coaster, another water coaster, but it's like a shuttle water coaster, uh, like which is the power splash. Um, so I think the SeaWorld San Antonio are definitely going to go on the right track here with these additions. I think that, um, you know, SeaWorld San Antonio have got a nice range of attractions and I think that adding a lovely new thrill ride, which is used to the SeaWorld Bush Gardens chain, uh, like the Screaming Swing, of course, you know, Finnegan's Flyer, uh, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, obviously that's the, the prime example, and that's probably the main reason why I think they're going for the Screaming Swing. If, if they were planning, if they are planning to add two attractions, a coast, some kind of water coaster or water ride and a thrill ride, I could see no other option than the Screaming Swing for the thrill ride because of the fact that Busch Gardens Williamsburg has one uh, that opened a couple, uh, well, a year ago this year, but of course 2021 will be two years uh, ago. But I think that this flat ride is not, I would consider this th flat slash thrill ride as a safe option, but I would consider it the perfect option for that chain of theme parks. So it's a ride system they know they can trust, and it's a ride system they know they can rely on. Uh, so I think that, you know, it's a great choice. For the water ride or some kind of coaster, a power splash wouldn't be my first choice in my opinion. It would be great to get a power splash at the park at some point, but... I think what we, I would rather choose a Skyrocket 2 or I'd rather choose something else just to fill that void. Um, you know, Skyrocket 2, obviously, you know, you look at the park's coaster lineups and they don't really have a, uh, a quadruple launch, triple launch, you know, shuttle um, kind of full circuit uh, launch coaster uh, like a Skyrocket 2. They haven't got that type of coaster at the park so uh, for the thrill seekers. So it'd be very... Um, very much a good addition if they choose that, but I'm guessing they will choose that in the future. Um, but I think that Power Splash, like I said, it's a good shuttle water coaster. It's, Journey to Atlantis is a great water coaster for the families, as well as the thrill seekers. So, this one will be a mixture of both, but I think this is more towards thrill seekers than Journey to Atlantis is. And I think that a Power Splash is going to be a great addition to the park, and I think that, uh, you know, with the Pufferfish branding that we talked about in the previous updates on this, um, that leads to me that a pufferfish could be the theme or it could be something to do with the coral reef uh, because you know pufferfish can be spotted in the coral reef so you know maybe they're going to go with like a coral theme for both these attractions so um, maybe something fish themed for the screaming swing or the power splash and then another theme for uh, the other attractions so uh, like we said it's not confirmed that both these attractions are coming for 2021 but from the public lion 
you know, we're looking on the right tracks here of a power splash and a screaming swing for next year. So, obviously, we've set up a separate playlist now for Seawall San Antonio's uh, 2021 edition, or editions, as it could be now. Uh, so, make sure you go check out that playlist. I've linked it at the end of the video. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news from update. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell for more YouTube updates. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep in the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.